This is Amanda. Hey, Angela, how are you? Good. I haven't heard from you in so long. What's going on? Angela is a breeder that I have helped in the past. Of course, I've actually got an empty house right now. Um, do you think you can bring her tonight? Although my feet are firmly planted on the animal rescue side of things, I will never turn my back on any animal in need, no matter where they come from. Awesome, cool, I'll see you tonight then. All right, okay, bye. Well, we've got a new camper coming. <laughs> we have a French bulldog puppy coming that's failure to thrive, so she's got possibly hydrocephalus, some other things going on, but she's basically scaring Angela. She's not doing very well, and she doesn't want to lose her, so she'd rather send her to me, where she knows she's gonna get expert care. Grab baby. I've got a ton of experience with hydrocephalus puppies, so I can't wait to get my hands on her and get a treatment plan laid out. Hello. Hi. Hi, come on in. Hi, Garnet. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Garnet, no barking. Oh my gosh, what? Is she not the most perfect little thing you've ever seen? You're very perfectly imperfect. I'm here bringing Amanda, a five-week-old Frenchie puppy who has suspected hydrocephalus. My hope today is for Amanda to take my puppy and get her set up on a treatment plan, then hopefully to an amazing home. Oh, she is cute. You definitely have a bubble head. There's definitely telltale signs when you look at an animal. You can see, you know, the bulbous shape of their head, the offset eyes. Nine times out of 10, I'm gonna guess it correctly if it's hydrocephalus. I don't know how to yeah. take care of her. Right. Taking care of a hydrocephalus puppy requires a lot of attention. It never goes away and you just have to manage it. And with hydrocephalus, they typically have a shorter lifespan, but it doesn't mean they can't have a good life for the lifespan yeah, they have. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm just grateful that you reached out. I have like been strung through the ringer over bringing her here. She has my heart. When it comes to breeder versus rescue, I think there's a lot of competition, a lot of aggression and anger towards one another. It's literally oil and water because rescuers are trying to clean up the overpopulation and stop the volume that are being euthanized. And breeders are creating more animals and putting them out into the world. And when it comes to breeders surrendering sick animals to rescues, a lot of the population just judges that as, I'm cleaning up their mess. You know, they made the problem, they're not fixing it kind of thing. That's not true. I'm here for special needs major medical animals regardless of where they come from. I know that you are going to spay the mom and get her placed into a pet home. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for that. Congenital defects are hereditary. The best thing you can do is to spay the mom and neuter the male that created that litter. I'm in love with her and I want her to have a good life. Oh my goodness. I feel so lucky that I get to take over your care. There are responsible rescues and there are irresponsible rescues. There are responsible breeders and there are very irresponsible breeders. It speaks volumes when a breeder actually has the balls to come forward and approach me with an animal in need. Most breeders would rather either euthanize the animal and pretend hush-hush like it never happened, or they would bring it to me but then want to stay anonymous because they don't want the backlash that comes with it. Look, new baby, new baby. You want to say goodbye to her? I know. I love you. I do. Oh, he does love her too. It went great in there. I think that my little girl is going to do amazing with Amanda. She has the best possible chance at life now. And that's all I want. Oh, oh, yeah, you get that apple. What's that noise you're making over there? I will get you. Oh, she's so tough. The next step for Carmel Sutra is observation. So for the next week or so, I'm going to be transitioning her food extremely slowly because we've often seen with hydrocephalus, when we change their proteins, you offset a balance in their body and can cause seizures and it can snowball really quickly to death. If she does not have seizures, if 
we're seeing you know regular growth and we're seeing no pain and good quality then we just want to take her to the vet and make sure we address her hydro so that we can best formulate a long-term plan i'm getting bossed around you here she's growling at me carmel has been with us for a few days now and although she's very delayed she's definitely progressing there's the poop machine miss carmel sutra Nasty nugget. <laughs> you stink. All right, you need a bath, girlfriend. You are icky, icky. All right, let's make sure you're nice and warm. She's actually growing at a normal rate, so I suspect that she probably has a mild case of hydrocephalus. We're doing a slow transition from puppy moose to puppy kibble. And so we're just gonna continue to do that and observe her and make sure that we don't see any seizure activities. Now you're kissable. So I haven't found the right home for her and a hydrocephalus puppy definitely requires a little extra care and attention. So I need to make sure I find the perfect fit. Hi, come on in. Hey. Oh my gosh, Neptune. Come here, come here. Oh, you haven't seen him in forever. <laughs> I haven't seen him since he was like that big. Yeah. He grows a lot bigger. Oh my gosh. Look at how handsome you are. Bullfrog, do you remember your baby? Oh. Bullfrog is like, what happened to my baby? <laughs> He's like, what? He remembers him. He's just like, what happened to him? You are so handsome. Had I not said yes to Neptune, he wouldn't be here today. And he wouldn't be Carmel's older brother. She's so cute. Look at your new sister. She has a little bit of fluid right here on her brain, which makes her a little bit slow and, and a little bit more delicate on her brain. So when you guys are with grandma, you just have to be really gentle like you are right now. She's hilarious. She loves her puppy area and she plays between the fencing with it with the other dogs. Yeah. But she's still at eight weeks, very like four weeks old. You guys kind of match. You look alike, you match. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's official. Your new baby. Yay! Your third panda paws kid. Thank you. You keep coming back. So yes, I, keep, I do. <laughs> I keep sending you good ones, apparently. <laughs> yep. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys get on the road. Bye, Hello. handsome. He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Come on, let's go. We have a new baby girl. And I'm so excited to get home and just hug and love on her. <laughs>